Okay, I want to do a quick demonstration here for, uh, with regards to QuickBooks Online and inventory management and barcodes. Okay, so this is kind of an overview video because we've been pretty specific up till now about, you know, uh, sort of the micro side to things. I want to give you an overview of how to better manage your inventory using barcodes with QuickBooks Online and using pretty much QuickBooks Online out of the box. You will need the ability to print barcode labels and we'll go over that on how to do that with label connector but basically just as an overview here you know if this is your inventory database with all your products and your quantity on hand you will need to have you know the inventory feature in QuickBooks Online added so that it'll keep track of the quantity on hand for you but basically the ways to increase your inventory in QuickBooks Online would be uh, to create a bill and you can do that by just straight going in and creating a bill or you can convert a PO into a bill and what that will do is that'll increase the inventory on those items um, the quantity on hand for the amount of the quantity that's on your bill um, if you had a PO and you convert that into a bill then if you purchased five of an item and if you convert that into a bill it's going to increase the inventory on that item by five you can also do that in in uh, QuickBooks Online by uh, you know receiving by creating uh, a check you know receipt or an expense receipt um, and then the other way to do that is with an inventory adjustment and I'm going to get into some of these screens here in a moment uh, in QuickBooks Online but I'm first giving you kind of the top level view here so these are so you can just do raw adjustments of your inventory as well and um, we can show you how to do that um, with scanning too you know if you want to but um, and then the ways to like reduce your inventory or take things out of stock would be to create an invoice for a particular a particular item in QuickBooks Online or a sales receipt which is kind of like what gets done over the counter or in a retail type of an environment or you can do a negative inventory adjustment and just reduce the amount, you know, just do a raw adjustment on the inventory amount for an item. So um, so that's kind of just the overview of the different screens in QuickBooks and, and how they make your inventory increase or decrease. Uh, but if we get into like those screens um, in actual, uh, in the QuickBooks itself, for example, like using scanning, you could, you know, if we want to like add a product to an invoice you can scan into that and I just you just heard my scanner there if I just tab over you know I can just say okay I wanna uh, you know do that okay this is the adjustment screen here so if we wanna like add that to an invoice we would just scan you know just scroll down into that box and where we want to you know invoice that item you can scan it using the barcode that you create and you can tab over and say, okay, I just sold two of these, and you can add that to an invoice. So that's how you would, you know, reduce inventory, you know, for that item, or if you sell it. Uh, and by the way, you can use uh, the Intuit uh, Pay app, uh, you know, to also scan into that, and we have a separate video on that. But if you want to, like, sell over right over the counter, uh, you can scan right into the sales receipt screen. Same thing, same item I've got here. You know, I can just sell, you know, one of these now right in this screen. So um, if you wanted to uh, go, you know, create a bill for an item, uh, you could say, okay, I want to just, um, you know, receive it by using a bill for this item. And you can go down here to the product and service box again, scan that barcode, and you know you see it's pretty universal here you can receive that in and that would actual actually increase the inventory by three you know for that item so um, so kind of how am I scanning that and how am I creating these barcodes that I can scan um, into QuickBooks online uh, what we use um, is our app here from uh, AccuWare called Label Connector you can see this is the actual item that I was scanning into those transactions and we made this label using label connector and basically the way that works is um, label connector can get connected up to your QuickBooks online account uh, you can use various transactions like for example if you issue a PO out to a vendor you could use that 
um, to print labels, but just keeping it simple for this particular demo. And we have separate demos on how to use Label Connector, but basically, you know, uh, you just hit, you know, first you sync up your items, and then you can just say get all products and services. And then in this case, what I did was I just printed a label for this pump item and up it comes and basically you can print that to your thermal label printer we can help you get that solved on how to get one or help yours get get yours working uh, but you can print right out a label connector to do that um, once you got everything kind of labeled then you can just go right into these different screens you know like here we were going to do an inventory adjustment um, let's just remove uh, we'll actually you know go down here scan that again boom okay we're going to just do an inventory adjustment change the quantity by two and then you know we'll just increase that and save that inventory adjustment i've got a few extra lines in here and stuff from when i was testing earlier but basically as i mentioned in my previous diagram you can use an inventory adjustment to increase or decrease you know your quantity on hand by positive or negative amounts um, so here we just changed it to 28 you know for that for that item just by scanning into that screen so um, so kind of as a review here you can use uh, bills or converting a PO into a bill um, you can actually uh, use sales receipts to take out inventory uh, or invoices to take out inventory um, we're gonna just leave that invoice right there um, so basically like one way to get to the inventory adjustments area which I'm sure you some of you have figured this out by now but you go here you select your item and you can actually go ahead and just like adjust the quantity on hand right here and it pulls up an inventory adjustment you can just scan your barcode for your item and just do an inventory adjustment right there and then um, to change it up or down uh, you or use bills or sales receipts and invoices to change it another way so I hope this uh, kind of answers sort of like your intro level questions on you know how to start using barcodes uh, you heard me scanning there so you can definitely use barcodes you do have to know a couple of tricks that we can go over with you to set up the scanner to work right uh, we've got a scanner on our web store but you don't have to use our scanner but we have one ready to go for you if you want um, but you can scan directly into these screens in QuickBooks and, and use barcodes to manage your inventory, but you will have to label everything first, and we can go over how to label everything properly with barcodes so that they will scan into QuickBooks Online for you. Uh, but I hope this kind of gives you like a nice overview of just how to like, you know, reduce your inventory in various ways in QuickBooks or increase your inventory in various ways in QuickBooks and use uh, barcoded labels to do that. Thank you, please uh, reach out to AccuWare. Look down in the description for our contact info on how to get more information. Thanks. Information.